And hello from one of the newer venues in English football, the Amex Stadium on the South Coast. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion versus Nottingham Forest. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4 5 1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supporting the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Good game. Good game. That's a good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the contest begins. Caicedo. Pascal Gross. Went in strongly to win the ball. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, a foul, but no yellow card at this early stage, in the opinion of the referee. Well, he might just be lucky. It's so early on. We'll have to be careful now. to deny the opportunity. <laughs> now sending it in. Really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Mongala. Effective press. Johnson. Harry Toffolo. Really effective shielding under pressure. It's looking promising. And space to cross it. Gives White. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And that'll be Brighton's ball. Good idea. And now waiting to pounce. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Moises Caicedo. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. 
Lalana making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Possession ceded by Brighton. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, disappointing end to the move. Feeding it through. March. And pull back. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Pascal Gross. Morgan gives white. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. That's a good ball. Morgan gives white. And players waiting in the centre. And that's a corner. And over it comes. Not away completely. Oh, great defending. Pascal Gross. Now Lalana. Kaoru Mitoma. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Toffolo. Yates. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But they dealt with the threat posed. He has time to play it over. Lalana on to Gross still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it and the keeper really reacted brilliantly well from that sort of range it's a great save I have to say And there's the delivery. And a simple clearance, a good one. Lalana. Here's Gross. Into the advanced position. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. And over comes the corner. Clearance left a bit to be desired. 
Kroos. Able to close down the shot. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. This to put them in front. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, here's the replay, and the goalkeeper chooses the right way, but he's a bit unlucky because the strike goes above his body. It's a good penalty. It's the height that beats him on this occasion. So back underway at 2-1, tight contest here. Went in strongly, decisively. Yates. Johnson. Oh, no stopping him. And a decent save, full credit. They take it short. And a useful cross. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And foul it is then. Released it nicely. Yates. And Brighton have it back now. Welbeck. Plenty of support here. Really favours this position. Welbeck. And veering in. Must be a smart stop here. Morgan Gibbs White. Moving it forward. The cross is on. Really fine play to keep possession. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, lacking a bit of inspiration with that free kick attempt. Well, lacking inspiration and lacking a bit of quality as well. That's a really poor effort. Pascal Gross. Clean challenge. Yates. 
Incisive pass. Ball retention so important. And the referee says penalty. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. And now to level the game. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, let's take another look at it. It's a really good penalty because he goes down the middle. The goalkeeper goes to one side. No real danger in the end. Excellent penalty. Well, they needed that and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Joel Feldman. Moises Caicedo. Now Lalana. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Pervis Estupinian. Now Lalana. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Brighton with the ball again. Now the quick counter attack could be on. Lalana making progress. Not a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Mongala. And possibilities here. Must take the lead here. And it still could be dangerous. And firing it towards goal on the volley. Could have gone in. Well, that's a big chance. Yes, it's on the volley, but I think he should score there. Moises Caicedo. Now Lalana. March. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, a swift challenge and a throw in coming up. And the referee sensibly allowing well, the tackling like that. The onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Harry Toffolo. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. He's using his strength to good effect. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. He continues his run, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. 
Lalana. On to Gross. And so the first half has come to an end here at the Amex Stadium. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. This to put them in front. Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. And a decent save for credit. Ball retention so important. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be... And now to level the game. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And Brighton did well to win back possession. Promising pass. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Ryan Yates. Aboniyi. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And all doing their bit to keep them out. Mikoma. It's with Welbeck. Promising sequence. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. That is how to apply the pressure. Aboniyi. Decides to shoot, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Keen to take it short here. Oh, a smart stop. 
Well, you can't take your eyes off this one because there you have it. Plenty of chances for both teams in what has been a really good game so far. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Pascal Gross. Opportunity. It could be up for grabs. Able to get his body in the way. Well, they were close to taking the lead there, but Brighton are playing really well at the moment. Might go ahead. And that is a below par pass. Moises Caicedo. On to Gross. Welbeck. Could be dangerous. And Welbeck. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Well, he has to get his team plan again. This isn't going to plan. On with the game, then. 3-2. What will happen next? Felipe. Yates. Good use of advantage. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Thirty minutes to go then. Aboniyi. Mongala. Yates. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Welbeck. Could be a chance to break here. Gross. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Gross. March. March. And return to Gross. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Aboniyi. It's with Aurel Mongala. Aurier. Mongala. And can they make one of these passes count? Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Welbeck. And now with Estupinian. Caicedo. Welbeck. Could be. In position. Well, it really looked as though that was going to be another goal from him. Well, a chance for his second there. Probably should have done a bit better there, really. Now, how about the short corner? March. March. Brighton couldn't keep it. Morgan gives White. Aboniyi. Brennan Johnson. What can they do from here? This could square the game. 
But the keeper has a say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Using his strength to shield the ball. But just like that, possession changes hands. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? From down here, it looks oh, as Oh, they could be in! Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Well, Beck. Still could put it away. Well, Beck. And now Dahoud. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now, counter-attacking possibilities. Aboniyi. Going well. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Well, they've restarted the game, and it's three apiece. Lalana. All even, but will it stay that way? Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Ten minutes to go. time is running out to get this winner but the fans certainly believe it's coming just listen to the noise what a fantastic finish we could have here holding on to the ball waiting for the cavalry to arrive no forest giving it away Fabrice says to Pignan Mitoma He's very adept at protecting the ball. How about the cross? Well, sometimes you need inspiration from your goalkeeper. Well, he's pulled off a decent save here, but more importantly, they stay on level terms. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not the most confident clearance. March. The cross is on. And he's lost custody of the ball here. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Shielding the ball superbly. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Morgan Gibbs White. Scarpa. Toffolo. 
And Felipe with it. Niakate. Abonigi. Remo Freuler. How can they find a late leveller? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Mitoma. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Just the challenge that was required. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And foiled by the post. This might be ideal for the counter. Scarpa. Well, strong play here. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. Danger averted. He's using his strength to good effect. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Moises Caicedo. March. And quick thinking defensively. And there it is, the final whistle. Reasons to be cheerful for fans of the Seagulls around the world. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And, of course, what a time to come up with a goal. This to put them in front. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Ball retention so important. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be... And now to level the game. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Could be dangerous. And Welbeck. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important.